I discovered cosplay 16 years ago when I was just a newbie kid and I went to Anime Expo 1999. Over the last 16 years, I've probably been to 500 conventions or so. Uh, these days I go to about 20 to 25 a year, so it's a lot. <laughs> When I got into cosplay, it just seemed absolutely impossible for it to be anything except a, a you know, hobby or just like some sort of an amateur um, otaku thing. So now cosplay has become such a huge global phenomenon and I really feel like I grew up with the community and I've been very active throughout all of these years and um, as a result, I've been able to turn cosplay into a business. Um, I mean, I never went to school for business. I, in fact, uh, a lot of what I've done is through trial and error and making mistakes. But uh, I have been able to grow it into a um, fairly, you know, substantial uh, brand. And I have about seven or eight uh, employees on payroll, and we have a great team. And uh, now we, you know, do a lot of conventions, but also have a thriving online store. Everything I know about costume making is pretty much self-taught and from just looking up whatever information I could. I mean, uh, when I first started, there were really no resources available online, so I actually read sewing books, like very boring old sewing books, and uh, just picked up whatever knowledge I could from friends. You know, we would craft together and sort of share any sort of little tips. And um, I think it's just, through practice. I mean, I, I sort of see sewing as, uh, you know, almost like playing a musical instrument where it really becomes a craft that you have to hone over and over again. And everything I know is just from, you know, choosing costumes that would give me the challenge to learn a new skill. Out of all these different costumes I've made, I think the one that really was a milestone to me is uh, Carmilla from Vampire Hunter D. Um, it was such a unique and different silhouette and uh, all of these different elements uh, that I, I had to figure out how to make. And um, I spent about six weeks, five to six weeks on it. And it was such, a, such an intense process to make Carmilla that afterwards, I didn't sew for about six months, like I needed a break. <laughs> Today I'm dressed as Xiao Jun from Assassin's Creed Chronicles China, it's the downloadable game. Uh, this costume just, it took over, like as soon as they released uh, the, 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 the announcement for the game and I saw the, you know, character design, I just immediately put all of my other costume projects on hold and spent a week with hardly any sleep just making this. And it just came together like a dream. Like, uh, it was such a magical process. Recently, Marvel decided to invite uh, various cosplayers to be on alternate covers for their new series is coming out. And it was such a crazy out of the blue project. And um, it was Marvel that, that just, came up with the idea. It wasn't like cosplayers were pushing for it. Literally, the uh, the department just said, hey, why don't we put some of our fans on the covers? And um, so I was very fortunate to be asked to be a part of the project. Um, a lot of the costumes had to be carefully chosen for the cover, so not every Marvel character could be represented depending on the, you know, the, the series. Um, Judy Stevens is a photographer for Marvel and a web content creator. She shot all 21 cosplayers and it was so much effort. Um, what I find the most incredible about this project is that it's not like they only chose professional cosplayers or people that absolutely looked exactly like the characters. They chose true fans that made their own costumes that, you know, represented different body types and different, uh, you know, walks of life and ages and such. And it was such a refreshing thing to see uh, for them to just show these are all like our characters. I made a Medusa costume from Inhumans, so um, I'm pretty excited about my cover coming out. 
Batman all the way. I mean, Catwoman, of course. <laughs> What I find most rewarding about being known in the community and having these opportunities to go to different events is meeting cosplayers and um, getting to know their stories. And uh, before, when I was just going to cons for fun, I would see someone in a cool costume and I would kind of like creep on them, you know, like look at them from afar and wonder how they made the costume. Uh, but now cosplayers will come to me and they will show me their costumes and I think that is probably the most rewarding part because I just want to connect with everyone too because I started this as a fan, I'm still a fan and I, um, I, I feel like I feel like I have been through so many different stages of cosplay that I, I have a personal connection with the newcomers or um, the people that are, you know, maybe have done it for just uh, for fun, but now are turning it into something more serious. Like I know the feeling that they're going through. And so it's, it's an honor. It truly is a blessing and an honor for them to come to me and willing to share their work with me. This is Yaya Han and you're watching Comics Asylum.